Zinobi Silikashvili was born in 1891 in the village of Fatashen, modern-day Oruz, Azerbaijan. He was born to an affluent family of Silikovs, who were one of the leaders of the local Udi community. Silikovs owned silk factories, lands and other property in and around Vatashen. Zinobi went on to receive education in Russia quite early on, where he also took his younger sister for the same purpose. In 1920, Zinobi was studying in Moscow's Commercial Institute. In the same year, he managed to save 160 Georgian traders from Russian prison and arrange their safe return to Georgia. Grateful Georgians published a letter in one of the Georgian newspapers to thank him. During this period, Azeri-Armenian conflict in Azerbaijan threatened the Udi community. Upon returning home, Zeno decided to lead most of the Vatashenudis to safety in neighboring Georgia, where most of them arrived by 1922. Zeno helped to establish the Udi village in eastern Georgia. In addition, with his active involvement, an organization for helping Georgian Nudis, as they were known by then, was established. The board of this organization included Ivan Javakishvili helped to establish the first Georgian university in Tbilisi, and a famous Georgian writer and playwright, Shalva Dadiani. With Zeno's help, factories, the Red Cross Operators Medical Room, a post office and a school were opened in the newly established village. By 1923, the great Fuluris named their village Zinobiani, in his honour. Zeno was only 32 by then. At this point, Silikashvili was involved not just in helping the Udi village, but also the surrounding areas. He published letters asking for the new infrastructure in the region and was involved in other work as well. Recent discovery also established that he was acquainted with the famous Georgian poet Galaxian Tabidze, who mentions Zinobi several times in his diary, noting that Zeno suggested a trip to Zinobiani in 1930. In the period of 1933 to 1934, Udi brothers Michel and Theodor J. Ranishvilis finished their work on new Udi script using Latin letters. In the same period, a special committee was established and charged with publishing Udi vocabulary and a textbook. The committee members were Zinobi Selikashvili, Brothers Jairon Shvili, Alexander Ajiashvili, and other Udi from Zinobiani, Vagangu Kassian, Udi from Nietzsche, and David Karbelashvili, a Georgian linguist. In the 1930s, Zinobi held the position of the head of Georgia's communal, economic, and provisional department. Despite this, he never became a member of the Communist Party which is duly noted in his execution papers. During this time, he lived in the capital of Georgia, Tbilisi, with his wife, Nadezhda Antipova, and their two young children. Zinobi Silikashvili was imprisoned by the Soviet authorities in 1938, during the Great Purge, and was accused of being a member of an illegal political entity, of actively working against the Soviet leadership, and of having information about the terror plot against the state. The sentence was execution and confiscation of the family's property. He was executed soon afterwards, and the family lost all its property. The Udi village was renamed to Oktomberi, but Zinobi's name was rehabilitated in 1956, soon after Stalin's death, alongside thousands of other victims of Soviet terror. After several decades, the Udi village got its old name back, and after many years, it is still called Zinobian, after the men who helped to establish it, and led the Georgian Udi community until his death.